There are a bunch of ways you can solve for the shortest distance between some point and a line. The easiest way, the way that most, I don't know, grade 10 students should be able to do is just with equations of lines. Here's a point, I just picked a random one, and here's an equation of a line, I also just picked a random one. If we want to know what the shortest distance between these two things is, the only thing you really have to know is that the shortest distance between the two is a line segment perpendicular to the line itself. Anything not perpendicular will be slightly longer. And Pythagorean theorem slash uh, the fact that hypotenuses are always the longest side of a right angle triangle imply that. Or you can just trust me, I don't really care. Now, to get the distance between this point and whatever point these two things meet at, we need to find the equation of this line, solve for the point of intersection, and then do a distance formula. How do we find the equation of this line segment? Well, because it is perpendicular, and we know the slope of this other line, we now know the slope of this line segment because it has to be a negative reciprocal of this slope in order for it to be perpendicular. The negative reciprocal is what you get when you take this slope and you flip it and you make that number negative, or rather you switch the sign. A positive slope becomes a negative slope. So this fraction three over one becomes one over three and we change the sign. Y equals MX plus B as always. Now to solve for B, which you need if you want the equation of the line, you have to plug in a point that you know is on the line. That's where the coordinates you're given come in. That's negative one third of negative four plus B. Let's solve this. We've got two equals four thirds plus B. I'm gonna move the four thirds to the other side. Oops, that's an equals. And I don't know how you are with fractions. Worst comes to worst, use your calculator, I guess. I don't really care. You're gonna end up with B is two thirds. Thus, the equation of the blue line segment is Y equals negative one third X. That's the slope from the beginning, negative reciprocal of this one, plus whatever B you solved for. All right, now, in order to get the coordinates of this point, we need to find the point of intersection. Because both of these are in y equals mx plus b form, I can just set them equal to each other. 3x minus 10 equals negative 1 third x plus 2 thirds. I'm going to put all my x's on one side, all my numbers on the other. That's 3x plus a third x on the left, and that's two thirds plus 10 on the right. That gives me, now I'm gonna do my fraction work in my head here, that's 10 thirds of x here, and this is 32 thirds here. Then, in order to solve for x, I divide both sides by whatever is in front of x, when I do that, I get 3.2. I did that on my calculator in case you're curious. Huh, just kidding. But you can use your calculator. It's totally allowed. So the x coordinate of that point is 3.2. I wish I knew what the y coordinate was. Well, we can figure that out. You're allowed to plug that x value into either of these equations. To get the y value, I'm going to plug it into the one that scares me the least. That's this first one. Uh, that's 9.6 minus 10, so it turns out to be negative 0 0.4. Cool. Let me reiterate those, those uh, how we did that. I found the equation of the line perpendicular to this one that went through that point. Then I set the two equations equal to each other to get the x and y where the two intersected. Now we're still not done because they actually asked for what the distance was between those two. 
I have to use the distance formula for that. That's x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Uh, if you're in grade 10, it's probably going to be given to you. Uh, if, it's, if you're in, beyond grade 11, you should have memorized it or use the Pythagorean theorem or whatever. x2 minus x1 all squared y2 minus y1 all squared added together and then square rooted. La la la, this is just me doing work, right? Here I get 7.2 squared plus uh, negative 2.4 all squared. <laughs> I don't have my calculator with me. Um, where is my calculator? I don't really want to have to do this by hand. Uh, da, da, da. That's 51.84 plus whatever I get when I multiply these together uh, is that 5.76. When I add those together, I get 57.60. And then I can take the square root of that. I'm not doing I don't even know how to take the square root in my head. Turns out to be, uh, I don't know, between seven and eight, seven point something. Whatever the point is, you can use the distance formula to get the distance once you have the point of intersection. But to get the point of intersection, you have to do the more interesting bit of this question, which is find the equation of the line segment, then find the point of intersection by solving a system, then distance formula and you're done. All right, good luck doing that yourself. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Ask me questions if you have any. Best of luck.